I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. What's up, YouTube? GG. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our channel. The Fearless Potato Hall. This is Victoria, and I'm Adrian. And today, we're going to be showing you how to get into the holiday spirit in San Francisco. So to begin our journey, if you are taking public transportation, please get off at the Powell BART station stop. And our first stop of the day is Union Square where we'll find the Macy's Christmas tree. And on top of the Christmas tree is the Macy's star, hosted by Macy's every year. And if you're lucky, you may catch SantaCon, an annual event where a lot of the city's residents dress up as Santa Claus. And don't be surprised if you catch a Santa or two at the bar, most likely enjoying a nice cold beer as opposed to his normal milk and cookies. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Incoming more Santas. Our next stop is Nime Marcus, where you will find a four-story tall Christmas tree. So at the top of the Neiman and Marcus is a restaurant called The Rotunda where you can have afternoon tea or dinner, but be forewarned, it is a little expensive. So I'm offering stop is located on the fourth floor of the Westfield Mall where we'll find a 50-foot Christmas tree. Unlike most Christmas trees, however, this giant tree is hung upside down from the mall's preserved dome glass ceiling, making a spectacular Instagram shot. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. The gingerbread house is essentially a giant gateway into their dining area where you can pay to have tea or lunch there. Additionally, they also do have a table setting right underneath the gingerbread house. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. If you're feeling a bit claustrophobic, we definitely recommend visiting the hotel's secret or maybe not so secret rooftop garden. The view is especially amazing at night. It's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways. Christmas to you. So we're here at 101 California and there are these 
giant Christmas ornaments. So if you're looking for a holiday Instagram spot, Embarcadero Center. It's actually um, a plaza made up of four different centers and connecting all of these centers are these skywalks and they basically just connect you from plaza to plaza and you can walk on top of the street instead of on the bottom. It's also connected to corporate business buildings and offices. Each Embarcadero Center is really beautifully decorated for the holiday season and we would definitely recommend taking a walk at night. And right next to Embarcadero Center 4, or potentially connected to it, is our 10th recommended holiday spot, the Hyatt Hotel. The decorations are super on point with the giant ornaments and lit up reindeer. There is a restaurant or bar located in the lobby of the Hyatt. Feel free to grab a drink or two and sit yourself at one of these gorgeous bungalows for reading nooks. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Looking for a place to ice skate but want to avoid the crowds at Union Square? Well, look no further than Barbadero Ice Skating Rink. It's a temporarily installed outdoor ice rink which also features a great nighttime view of the ferry building and Bay Bridge. So I'm offering a simple phrase. And our last recommended holiday attraction is actually accessible all year round. Pier 14 offers a great view of the Bay Bridge. In fact, the lights on the bridge are part of an art installation of 25,000 individually programmed LED lights that form a wave or cloud-like movement across the bridge. Additionally, when you turn around, it offers a different and breathtaking view of the city. Roasting. Black frost nipping at your nose. So I'm 